Next up is the Enneagram 7. Here, the core fear for the Enneagram salmon, 7, the Enneagram salmon, that's funny. Uh, the Enneagram 7, um, their core fear is deprivation, to be trapped in pain, emotions, boredom, or FOMO. Uh, they don't like missing out. Um, their core desire is happiness, being fully satisfied. Sevens love to be social. They love to be the life of the party. They love to have fun. Um, they are numbers, if you think about uh, how they relate to work a lot of times. They are just trying to get through their nine to five to get home and to, to go do the fun things. Um, unless they're working a job that that is that fun thing, um, which probably a lot of them try to make that happen. Uh, because again, they don't want to be trapped in those emotions. They don't want to be trapped in the boredom. Um, the, the core longing for sevens is that uh, you will be taken care of. Um, so in your relationships with Enneagrams, or as Enneagram sevens with others, there's a few things that, to remember. First, it's important to remember that hard conversations are necessary. Why? Because uh, that is how we grow. That is how we work through things. It's how we reconcile with one another. Uh, that's how we reconcile with ourselves. Um, it's how we solve uh, difficult problems. Um, otherwise, we just get into uh, denial, uh, denying the reality uh, of hardship and of hard things. Um, but instead, it's important to uh, reach into those hard conversations to, to seek out adaptive change as opposed to just uh, trying to solve things technically. Um, for sevens, that's hard because sevens feel like the moment that they enter into some of these hard conversations, they're never going to get out. Um, so it's important for sevens to acknowledge the need to do that, the need to enter into a, uh, a, a conversation of reconciliation, for example. It's also important for sevens to be present uh, as you are trying to reconcile because it's very, very easy again for you just to be thinking about the next thing, to think about what you're missing out on, the fear of missing out, but instead to take time and to be present, to be uh, aware of the situation and to live fully in the moment. Even if that is a hard moment, even that's a moment you don't want to be in, if you're trying to truly reconcile with someone, you have to be present in the moment. And the last thing is to seek resolution, not just avoidance. Uh, it is a natural tendency of sevens just to avoid things and to go on to the next thing um, or to come up with the easiest solution just to uh, get the get the monkey off your back. But instead, it's important to seek resolution um, and even uh, the best resolution as opposed to just the easiest resolution to a situation. Now... If you're in a relationship with a seven, uh, it's important to take them seriously. Um, sevens don't like to be perceived as dumb or ditzy or um, or not taken seriously um, because it's not accurate. Um, while they do uh, sometimes dread those moments of, of deep emotions or um, boredom, uh, it's not because they're dumb or they're ditzy or, or whatever, but it, it is instead because they're just excited and want to get on to the fun things. They're just very much driven by fun and excitement. Um, so it's important to take them seriously because they may have some good things to say in those moments, um, especially if they are being present, especially if they are actually engaging in the hard conversations. Um, they have a lot probably to say because they're not doing this all the time. Um, the second thing, if you're in a relationship with a seven, you have to set limits on your, what I'm going to call negativity. Now that could be uh, the negative talk, but that could also just be having hard conversations. Uh, to a seven, if you're just constantly wanting to analyze and sit and have hard conversations, they're going to be upset. They're going to be disappointed. They're going to be exhausted. And so having uh having a set of limits of like, okay, well, here's what we'll do. We want to talk about reconciliation. We may not solve it today, but let's talk about it for the next 45 minutes and then we'll be done. And maybe even setting a timer uh, to do that. Uh, that allows the seven to know that they're not going to forever be trapped 
in that sense of boredom or in that sense of uh, negativity or fear, um, but instead that there's there's an end in sight, and so that they can actually engage. Um, and lastly, to uh, avoid unjust critique. Um, oftentimes, if you uh, give a seven an unjust critique, they're not going to fight back with you necessarily. What they may just do is just avoid the situation. They may just completely check out because uh, at that point, you don't even understand what's going on. You don't understand them, and you are um, just lobbing unjust critiques at them. Now, for sevens to reconcile with yourself, here are two things I want to I want to challenge you with. Um, first is the reminder that you will not always be trapped in the negative. To enter into a hard space, to enter into hard feelings, may feel in those moments like you're you may may never get out if you if you go in. Um, but that's not true. Uh, it, you have the ability uh, to set boundaries and to set goals and to enter into those spaces, uh, which leads to the second thing of setting boundaries and goals to explore those feelings, specifically some of the hard ones and the negative ones. Um, creating space where you can say, again, for the next hour, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do this hard work, knowing that when I am done, here's what I'm going to do. It allows you to be focused for the time, but it then allows you to also see the end is in sight. And uh, I, honestly, it's sometimes the reward that's on the other side of doing the hard work. Uh, this is helpful. This is important as you are thinking about reconciliation is to set up these boundaries, to set up the parameters in which you will be able to enter into that space.